Okay, thinking about foam repairs again. The FMS Ranger has this nice little uh, navigation light on the, uh, the wingtip. But if you happen to snag the wingtip on the ground, <laughs> you can very easily lose that little cover. But as you'll notice, the, the cover that's on here is a little bit of uh, clear plastic that is just painted everywhere except where the light is. So, my solution is to uh, take a good old uh, clear plastic container that uh, some nails or something were in to um, cut a bit of plastic off of it and it's kind of hard to see that but that's a little bit of plastic that I've cut to shape uh, and uh, just bent it and I'm going to stick that on with a, a bit of foam cure glue and uh, see how we go with it and of course then we can paint it afterwards and gluing the new piece in, we have uh, put it in place, applied the glue around the edges, stuck it together, pulled it back apart, let it set for oh, between 5 and 10 minutes, and stuck it back together, um, put the, uh, the tape, masking tape around the end to hold it down tightly, and of course they wait with a hammer there in the top, and uh, that should hold it in snugly while the glue sets. Well, here we have the uh, repair job on the uh, wing tip with the, the light. So we got the uh, little clear plastic bit on there. And um, yeah, that's done the job. I did have a, a bit of an issue with uh, the corner of the plastic not gluing down all of the way. So I added a little bit more glue and put a clamp on there. With my clamp, I've made a little bit of a dent in the, uh, in the foam. But nonetheless, we'll uh, touch up the paint, and uh, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty nice. Well, there we've got it painted, and of course we haven't painted around the little spot where the light is, but we've uh, painted up where the paint was damaged on the rest of the wing. Um, one of these days, I'll have to get my daughter to give us a lesson on... Um, mixing paint and matching colors. Uh, obviously didn't get that quite exactly right. But essentially uh, what we're working with is um, acrylic paints and Mod Podge and a tiny bit of water. So um, I start out with the basic green. Um, so we got the, the green. Um, added in a bit of uh, the white to uh, get it down to the something close to the darkness of what we've got. Uh, then I added in the yellow to um, uh, give it the right, um, whatever you call it, the tone is it? The uh, uh, Anyway, um, and I'm not sure if that needs more white or more yellow, so that's what I need to talk to my daughter about. Uh, we'll see how it ends up when it gets dried. Um, but anyway, then the uh, Mod Podge, um, that gets uh, added in uh, to give it a, a bit of the, the luster and it makes it a little bit more workable and then along with that a little bit of water to get the consistency the way that I want it. Um, properly you would use a, a palette knife, but this gives you a rough idea of uh, the consistency I have. You want it to, to be... Um, uh, liquid enough to flow um, but you also want it to cover so that's a bit of a um, exercise in itself. Uh, I have thought about airbrushing it uh, but I'm not terribly experienced at that and I'm just concerned it's a little bit too thick and and how do you really get a quantity that you can really do a little tiny touch-up job like this. Um, you can see where my clamp was when I clamped it there at the end. So I think, uh, I'm not sure what the best thing to do would have been there. Maybe have uh, something across here to distribute the weight from the clamp. But it has to be something with enough grip to be able to uh, hold on to it. Well, if you can't match the color, just uh, add a little bit of design to it. We already had two shades of green. Why not three? Well, here's our plane. There's the, uh, this was the damaged wingtip here, so you can see that it uh, came out 
pretty nice. Still got that dent in it, but uh, hey, you know, <laughs> such things happen. Uh, that's going to be fine. Uh, as far as the uh, the color goes, um, did talk to my daughter about the acrylics, and she pointed out that with acrylics, they go darker as they uh, dry. So this started out being reasonably close to, to this other color, and it's turned out a lot darker. Uh, asking her how you go about uh, managing that, what she suggested is make up like a half jar quantity of the, um, the color, uh, get your best guess, paint it on something, let it dry, have a look at it, decide which direction you need to go with adding other colors, add those other colors, mix it up real good, put another test uh, bit on another uh, item, uh, and you keep doing that until you finally get it right, and then you got a jar of color that you can use on that particular item, in this case a plane. But personally, I'm quite happy with the darker wingtip, and um, as I mentioned before, well, we've already got two different uh, greens here, adding another one that's very much in harmony with it, and I don't see any problem with that at all. So. Uh, uh, do whatever you like, but uh, that is going to be my particular approach.